Chase. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's your next tip. So after making the mesh ready for print and exporting it as an STL, we're just opening it in preform to prepare to send it to the Form 3. You can see it comes in basically flat against the build plate, but with the way these SLA printers work, that's not actually what we want. We move it closer to the center and give it sort of an arbitrary angle to start. Each new layer needs something to start from, so the idea is to kind of start with a point and have everything build up from that. In a way, it's sort of the opposite of how you would prep for FDM printing. You can see that as we go through this process, we keep checking that each layer has something to build off from the previous layer, which is done with that slider on the right that steps through each level. The guide from Formlabs recommends not placing your build directly on the plate, so supports will be necessary. Each of these dots that we're placing is where another support will contact the part. We went through and manually placed these instead of having preform calculate them, but that would be another perfectly viable option. We located them where there are drastic changes in cross-section or an area that may not be able to support itself. We have the back of the part facing down, as that's where the supports will connect and we don't want any marks from that on the front. Once those supports are done generating, we scroll through the layers one more time to double check. Everything looked good, so we sent it off to the printer. Thanks for watching. Contact me if you have any questions and I'll see you tomorrow.